Hello, uh, radio hobbyists and owners of ICOM 7300s. So I just want to, um, sh I'm just uh, finishing up a uh, JT65 QSO here. And uh, so I wanted to show you guys how to um, configure your um, 7300s to do JT65 on at least this software that I'm using. Um, so it should be pretty similar probably. Uh, to other software. So, uh, first thing you got to do is, um, well, there's a few things you got to do. Uh, let me just f finish up this QSO. I'm, I'm nar narrating this after the fact, so I have to wait for the video to catch up. Uh, all right, just 100% there. And. Make sure. Okay, so let's go into settings. Bring that over into view. So uh, go onto your uh, radio tab and set your radio to ICOM 7100. Um, that will work just fine. And leave the pole interval at default. Um, change your uh, um, leave the baud rate at 9600. Now you're going to have to um, have the USB driver installed already and have that working. So if I go into my Windows Device Manager I should in COM ports, I should see that USB driver and I've got it here and it's set to COM8 in my case. So that's how you find out what COM port to use. Let's exit device manager. So that's the port number. 9600 baud is the default and is fine. And just um, follow my settings here. Um, you do not use need to set DTR or RTS in this case. I'm also using just the one USB cable. Okay, so uh, there's no audio lines at all. Everything is in one and set that to uh, digital mode there. So there's your test button. If the button goes green, it worked. And if the test PTT, you hear the relays in your radio click and you're good to go. Oh, not yet. Got to go over here and make sure your uh, audio is set to the right thing. So USB audio codec. Make sure that those are set to the correct thing. If uh, if you're not sure, you know, just uh, try them. Now, one thing I noticed, you got to stop the software and restart it. And here, right away on the bottom left, that orange bar, I see that I have audio coming in to the software, and uh, so it's working. And uh, that's how I got. Going to set connectors CIV 9600 baud. That's good. CIV address you got to change it to 88. So just use the up down buttons there and drop it down to 88. My CIV transceive is off. Oops. Bottom setting is remote transceive. CIV output for antenna is on. I don't know if that matters. CIV USB port is linked to remote. And that is it for the CIV. USB serial function is CIV. USB send is off. USB keying is off. USB keying RTTY is off. And all my level settings are default. Data mod, data off mod is mic accessory. Data mod is USB. So that should do it.